Hello viewers, I'm Dr. Swati, a practice oculoplasty at Shaker Eye Hospital. Today, uh, let's talk about eyelid twitching. So we all might have experienced this twitch or a flickering of our eyelids at some point in life. So what does that mean? If you Google, you will get 101 things written about it, whether it's a good omen or a bad omen, whether it's in the right eye or left eye or of a male or a female, etc. But what it actually means is that your body is asking you to relax. So our eyes have muscles which help in closing the eye and muscles which help in opening the eye. These are served or stimulated by nerves. Now, whenever there is overstimulation, that results in flickering or twitching of the eye. What are the triggers for this twitch? The most common factor is stress. Stress, lack of sleep, fatigue, anxiety, excessive caffeine intake or you're following a certain diet which is resulting in an electrolyte imbalance uh, or if there are any infections in the eye or your eyes are dry. So how do we treat this condition? The first and foremost, slow down, relax. You can choose meditation or yoga to just de-stress yourself. Apart from that, during the attack, you can just keep ice packs or cold compresses and take deep breaths. That also reduces the number of flickerings. It is said that children require at least 9 to 10 hours of sleep per day and adults require at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep per day. So ensure that you are sleeping right and you are switching off your phone at least one hour before you go to sleep. Diet, whenever there is an imbalance, whenever there is a potassium deficiency, that is when you can get twitches in and around the eye. So. You can consume bananas or tended coconut water, which can increase the potassium levels in your body. Sometimes calcium deficiencies also can result in twitching. So make sure that your calcium levels are checked routinely as a part of your general health checkups. The third being magnesium, which is important in nerve transmission. So the signal transmission. So these are all uh, either you can take supplements for it or through your diet itself by increasing intake of dry fruits and green leafy vegetables etc. The third thing that you can do is cut down your caffeine intake and alcohol intake. Caffeine is a stimulant we all know so it can trigger these excessive twitches. Uh, for the dry eye, if you're feeling tiredness, redness, burning sensation, feeling like closing your eyes, you can always use tear substitutes and keep your eyes lubricated. Keep a check on your digital do device usage. And if the eyes have watering and discharge, that is when you will have to visit an eye specialist and get it treated first. Generally, twitches are not uh, something to be scared about. They come and go in bouts and slowly, slowly over a period of few weeks, they just disappear once everything else settles down. So when is it that you should be worried about or you should visit us? So whenever the twitches are very severe in the sense it squeezes or tightly uh, closes your eyes and it, you find it difficult to open your eyelids and when they are not only involving your eyes but they are also involving your face and your neck muscles or if it is involving both the eyes at the same time if they are persisting even during your sleep time these are all involuntary contractions they may not be just a 
which they may be something else called essential blepharospasm or hemifacial spasm in blepharospasm this involves both the eyelids and the hemifacial spasm when one side of the entire face and neck starts twitching or having these spasms these will require an intervention from our end and an evaluation from our end as well as the neurologist to rule out if there's something else which is triggering these excessive contractions otherwise generally over a period of time they gradually disappear and you are going to be fine these are the basic information about lit twitch don't go by whatever superstitions uh, that you read about there are uh, much, uh, these are much more than those superstitions eyes are very precious please uh, watch our videos and our youtube channel for much more information about eye care